Hey swimmers, welcome back to the Swim Vice channel. Today I'm going over the most recent 1500 meter gold medal for Katie Ledecky setting a new Olympic record today. I'm going to go through some highlights of her event where she absolutely dominated and I will follow up with her 400 meter freestyle and why she placed bronze, which in my opinion has nothing to do with her skill set, it has to do with something else. So you're gonna see in these first 100 meters that she makes a bold statement, swimming at a tempo of 0.61 seconds per stroke. And I can see why. With her swimming at a faster tempo, outpacing her competitors, her goal is to separate herself as early as possible. And when this happens, she turns on this gear where she is unstoppable. Here's an under If you're new to the channel or you've been watching my content, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. That way you stay notified for new content weekly and you also show your support for the channel. Water shots, you can see this nice two beat kick and it's a dominant left kick. Here in this freeze frame, excellent body position. Look at the depth of her arm. I, If you watch my channel, I coach this religiously. You see this nice extension with her lead arm, body lines on the surface and she has a two beat kick here. Granted, one leg is fully extended, but she's still moving her hips, and that kick is originated from the hips anyways, so she's still performing a solid two-beat kick in the 1500 meter. On these next few strokes, you see a beautiful catch that she executes right here consistently, body lines on the surface. Where's that catch happening from? Her back, her lats. She's opening up and getting as much leverage out front as possible, which is a high priority for any distance freestyle swimmer. Now I know I've had comments of those that say that Kayla Ledecky has a one beat kick. That's not true. You do see this kind of twitch here with her left leg, but she's still performing a two beat kick. You see it from the hips. You don't wanna look at the feet. You look at her hips. She's rotating consecutively on every stroke timed diagonally, which is a two beat kick. And with all that energy saved, look how far she's leading. I mean, it's insane. So she's conserving energy. Now she's in that gear I'm talking about where she is unstoppable. It's just at this point, she's just repeating and she is gaining control both mentally and physically of this race. And you just see here that she's breathing every two, her head's low. She's got her kick timed perfectly. She also has a great catch, which I freeze framed early on in this video. And when she's in this state, I mean, clear differentiator between her other competitors, and there's just no way anyone could keep up with her. So for the majority of the 1500, she's swimming a two beat kick here is what you see from her hips. However, when she starts dialing it up, she goes into that four beat kick. Now that four beat kick can be a little more passive or a little bit more active, which you'll start to see on that final 50 meters of this event. Either way, she has the ability to change gears how she pleases because she is so far ahead that at this point she's got it. You see she dials up that four beat kick, look that strong four beat kick. Remember that's four kicks per stroke cycle. So she has this ability to dial it up even more and she finishes incredibly strong setting a new Olympic record, and this is Katie Ledecky. She absolutely dominates, and it's so inspiring to watch her swim. Okay, now here is the 400 meter event where she plays bronze. And I'm going to explain, in my opinion, why I feel that she had a disadvantage from the beginning before even diving in the pool. Unless you watched this event live, you are unable to see some of the footage prior to the event itself. Titmus in lane five was seen talking and joking around with Katie Ledecky right before this event. Not only that, when they went to their lanes, she happened to get ready into lane four and Katie Ledecky had to remind her to move to her lane, which definitely on purpose threw her off and distracted her, which made her lose her competitive edge initially on this event. All of these competitors are highly skilled at this level, it is all mental. And this is why it's so crucial to focus and stay in your lane and not get distracted by competitors because at this level, everyone's competing for the gold. Okay, swimmers, if you're watching this video and you've no idea what I'm talking about in terms of tempo or how to get faster or swim efficiently, be sure to click the link below and join my Swim Vice program. I have multiple online courses to help you achieve efficiency and speed. 
You can also go to swimvice.com for more resources to help with your swim practice. All right, swimmers, enjoy your training, and I will see you all next week.